great. Looking east uh, toward the launch site. It is February 5th, 2023, a Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And I wanted to get the shot because of the um, tanks that they have at the bottom, to the right, bottom right of the tower there. We can see some of those white tanks, and I'll zoom in too. But this is the shot of the overall site. Now, possibly this week we might have a static fire of the something over there. If they're still futzing around a little bit with those tanks tomorrow, then maybe they won't do a static fire tomorrow. But there is a road closure scheduled for Monday and Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, uh, this coming week. And, uh, you know, they've been bringing in a lot of methane. Possibly they'll do a static fire of the Starship. Uh, there's still quite a bit of uh, tarp around the base of the uh, Starship 25 there. So maybe uh, maybe we're talking a static fire of the, of the booster. That's what I meant to say. Possibly a static fire of the booster. I just adjusted the tripod here. And I will do a zoom in of those white tanks at the bottom. Let me just adjust the tripod again. All right. I'm on the very edge of the water here. So I was thinking about putting my feet in, but I said, nah, let's keep my feet dry. And so we're gonna zoom in. Ho hopefully the audio is good. Um, there is a uh, wind coming directly at the mic. So anyway, so it's a view of the cables and the uh, water deluge tanks there. You can see they just lowered the the straps on the crane a little bit. I saw that this was happening on Facebook. Uh, someone had posted some photos on the SpaceX Boca Chica group, so I took a few more videos over there where I was doing videos this morning, but uh, I made my way over here and we're taking a look at what's going on. Kind of exciting. Exciting to see some new uh, construction here. This appears to be closer to the tower than it is to the starship in front of us. Um, I say that because I was over at the main gate checking out if I want to go live from over there. And uh, it looked like it was closer to the tower than it was to the starship that we're looking at. So I think it's gonna be for the tower, water deluge system for the tower. That's all I got. That's what I got. Uh, I can talk about a few other things. I'm looking for advisors. Uh, if you'd like to be an advisor, uh, I've chatted with a few people already. I put out a video earlier today, about an hour ago or so, just uh, saying, you know, whether you'd like to be to showcase yourself on a on the website here at Ocean Cam, and maybe something, maybe that would turn into something. Uh, a position here at Ocean Cam or another, maybe someone else would see it and like to do some work with you. So it's, a, it's an opportunity to promote uh, whatever you're interested in uh, and get your bio up there on the Ocean Cam website. As I, um, this year we're going to be moving into moving forward later this, uh, in about uh, 10 days or so, I have a conversation with somebody very high up in the Space Force, uh, possibility of joining the board or possibly being some part of the team here. Someone's retiring from the Space Force, very high up person. And uh, we, we set up a, an appointment a couple weeks ago. And uh, there's some other people I've chatted with over the last few weeks that 
are maybe going to be joining the team as a CFO or um, there's a handful of other people around nine or ten other people on Slack and the mighty networks that uh, I've been chatting with too. So I'm starting to um, get some interest from people and uh, maybe you'd like to participate also and uh, whether you're international or you're domestic in the past I've said you know international we couldn't do anything together because of ITAR but uh, I think as an advisor no matter what area of the globe you're from
Can anyone hear me? I've been talking all this time, over 10 minutes. Has anyone heard anything that I said? It's possible that my battery is running out. Okay, let me um, get started here. Hopefully you guys heard a little bit of that. If you didn't, uh, I will start again. So they got those white tanks over there, and uh, I will end it. I'll just end it, and I'll listen to it and see if anything recorded, and I'll start over. All right. Sound went out five minutes ago, Johnny? Okay, interesting. I think the uh, transmitter is, um, well, at least you guys got some of it. The transmitter is uh, flashing red, so I got to plug it in. It's a windy day out here, too, so um, it's good now, yeah. It's, I'll, go, I'll go until it stops, I guess. Yeah, so I unplugged the mic. You probably have it pretty windy right now. Um, the transmitter is low on the battery. So. Anyway, I will end it here, and I'll see you on the next one. You can always uh, let me know if the, uh, the wind sound is too much. I would be stopping because of the wind. I think it's probably pretty strong on the mic here. Medium wind noise? Okay, John. I guess I'll keep going then. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of welding this week from uh, Monday through Friday. So, um, you know, today I'll be uh, again live next weekend. And uh, what else? Yeah, I just wanted to showcase those white tanks on the bottom right. I'll wrap it up. Thanks for joining in. Um, we'll see you on the other side.